to Paranormal Central, broadcasting live from Central California with your hosts Jeffrey Gonzalez and Alan Thomas. Broadcasting video worldwide at ParanormalCentral.net and broadcasting audio on the Are you ready to witness something you cannot explain? Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Paranormal Central, broadcasting live from the bottom left-hand corner of the Nevada Triangle, in a city called Fresno, California. Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey Gonzalez, I am your host for the show, I'm also the founder of a group called the Sanger Paranormal Society. Been investigating the paranormal going over 14 years, so I'm just not up here talking about it, I'm actually living it. I have a team. One member of the team is sitting right here to the right-hand side of me, Mr. Alan Thomas. How are you all tonight? Missed you last week. Thank you for showing up wherever you may be around the world. We are broadcasting Sundays, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time, West Coast Time, California Time. Broadcasting on live stream and on Roku, around the world HD quality video and audio. You can go to our website to get to that location at ParanormalCentral.net. ParanormalCentral.net. That will take you to the link at Livestream. Or if you got Roku, search Livestream. Save it onto your screen there. And on Sundays, tune us in at 6 o'clock and look look us on your 56 or 58 or to Isaac, his 80-inch screen. (laughs) Right, yeah. And And, uh, and, uh, they have to search search production. Producer, I think not. There's two different searches on live stream. There's okay. Shows and the producers of shows. Oh, okay. So they want to look for our produced channel. Produced channel, which mm-hmm. is which is Paranormal Central. Right. And then click on that, and you can watch us on your TV right now without the laptop or your iPhone or your Android, and just you can catch us. If you have an HD TV, man, you're gonna see it in HD quality video all the way. And we're going to blow your mind. I hope we're doing that right now because it um, looks good on our end. Simple as that. All right. Again, thank you guys for showing up wherever you may be. If you're watching football, then just lower the volume because you don't really need to listen to what's going on. You can just visually look at the screen. And if you can split it, then split it. You know, that's all I have to say. So. Yeah, you can see all the bad calls. You don't, you don't have to know what these say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Again, thank you guys for showing up on a Sunday evening. Again, today is the uh, the championship games, and the winners of the championship games go to the Super Bowl in two weeks. And so really? far, the first game was the uh, Atlanta Vulcans beating the Green Bay Packers. I would have never thought that would have happened, but the Green Bay is out. L.A. Uh, the Los um, Vulcans are in, and right now Pittsburgh and um, New so, England. That is that. Uh, yeah, they're playing right now. So we'll see what happens on that game. All right. Um, you know what? We so New England we, and the Patriots, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, wait. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not. A, so one of those is yeah. going to go to the Super Bowl for reals? Why? Who? Well, Balkans is already going to the Super Bowl. The yeah. Los, Atlantic Balkans, but um, but the pa- watch it be the Patriots. The That'll Patriots be. or or the Patriots already been there. Pittsburgh also as well. But oh well. So I, I, I think I think it, it, I think it so. should have been Dallas and Raiders be honest but uh hey maybe next year for the money that would have been a good game it would have made a lot of money especially in vegas so (laughs) all right again uh uh you know we're sorry that we were not here last week but you guys have to understand we are filming our tv show yes i said it our tv show we are filming it and man we're going to be continuing to be busy um sometimes we're going to be here on sundays and sometimes we're not uh today it's just raining cats and dogs in Fresno, California, or in the central part of California, anyways, and 
it's uh we you know on this tv show we have a production crew now who's going to be doing recreations we're going to be on location shooting interviewing witnesses where it actually happened and one of the spots where we still need to go is the the rancher avocado lake and unfortunately, it is muddier than heck up there, so we can't get to the location to interview him and to recreate what happened. And uh, hopefully, we're going to do that next weekend. Um, but, um, you know, we're on a go. Uh, tomorrow, we have a meeting with the uh, CW Fox Network here in Fresno, and we're going to sign a contract. And then we'll be able to start promoting. I know there's a lot of people of, uh, around the world, including America, that you guys are going, well, we want to see it as well. Um, I know it's just going to be in, you know, they're going to be showing it here in central part of California. Um, um, and, uh, you know, in millions of homes, they're going to, you know, you're going to be able to see us from what I understand. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it right now because, um, it's pretty much a go. We're going to be, uh, shown at 12 midnight on Saturdays and that's freaking prime time. And if, from what I understand, anywhere between eight o'clock and 12 o'clock is prime time. Um, but Saturdays, we're going to go be going up against Saturday Night Live. Who cares? That, that Those guys are has-beens. And hopefully, uh, you'll be tuning in to watch us instead of them. Because uh, we're going to have a great... If, you know, if you guys ordered and watched the last nine episodes that we had on TV a uh, year and a half ago, that was just in the studio and showing pictures and videos. This time, we're going to be out doing stuff. It's, it's, it's going to be... A real this is a real deal man i mean we got a production crew who's going to be work they're actually working their asses off right now as it is and uh i'm glad i found these guys and now you know with our new reporter as well man i don't know why i got this cough but but yeah we're um it's it's looking good man i'm excited i'm actually pretty dang excited yesterday we did a photo shoot and we're going to do another photo shoot next weekend with uh or or, or, or no, I can't. Well, I'm next not weekend is is uh, the haunting. Yeah, so we'll we'll see what happens. But okay, all right. Anyways, <clears throat> um, oh, you know what? what? Huh? When we were out, we were out at at Keith the farmer's house, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. They everybody knows if they've been tuned in who that is. And I told him, you know, the audience wants to see him again, you know. And he was he was really <clears throat> like touched, you know. And he told he told me to tell everyone out there that he says hello that you know one day he will will bring him in here again and we'll well he's going to be on the first he's going to be on the first episode guys yeah Re we are doing a recreation of his encounter yeah on his property and uh we're going to let the production company take care of that see what they're going to do with that and uh, go from there so uh, i can't wait i can't wait all right um it's going to be fun <clears throat> you know, we've been busy for the past two weeks. I have anyways. And there has been one thing that has been really just all over the place. You know, the president and the inauguration and all that. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Obviously, you guys, I know there's a lot of people out there who like Bigfoot and who doesn't. But as you know, we it's winter. All right. And in the Sierra Mountains right now, even pretty dang close to the foothills, it's snowing. We got snow very low, 1,000 feet, 2,000 feet. So we can't really go to the spots right now to go Bigfooting. One, there's one problem. One, the, the second spot, the uh, road washed out, and there's no road right now. So I, you know, I don't know what they're going to do. They have to fix that uh, as ASAP. And something else happened, <clears throat> too, on that same road. What's that? Like before Dinky Creek. So now that road's closed in two places. Now you can't even, even, even the pg e are having a tar hard time getting down it. Okay, well, they got to do something up. about that. Oh, they will. That is kind of funny how we can't get to the new spot because all that happened. Hmm. No, I'm not saying that it was caused intentionally, <laughs> but uh, bummer. Um, <clears throat> you know, for the other spot, uh, David goes the spot where the windows happen and all that um that can't we're not going to do that until memorial day that is our weekend um trip and it looks like we're going to take the film crew and we're going to film an episode out of that maybe two episodes um because every time we go something happens yeah so uh you know for the longest time 
you know, when Danny Valdrama goes with us and I go, we all have video cameras and GoPros. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes we get what we want to get on film. Sometimes we don't. Um, this time, you know, e- you know, even if we have the production company, they just can't turn on the camera and, you know, run it 24-7 because it's all put on cards, SD cards in the camera. So... It's going to be hard. It's, it, 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 you know, people go, when you go up and you see a big, but why don't you have a good picture or a good video? Well, it's like, you know, depending on how far it is or how close it is or how loud it is and how soft it's yelling, you have to be, you have to be set and ready to go. For everything. For everything. Yeah. All right. And that's And it happens impossible. usually like. And that's so impossible, fast. right? Yeah. And that is impossible to happen, even with professionals that are with you. So we're going to try to do our best. Um, hopefully, our production company is going to get some GoPros for us. From what I understand, at our meeting yesterday, uh, they have connections. And if that's the case, I'm going to strap a freaking GoPro on my head, and I'm just going to let it go. I know they, you know, they don't last very long, especially the battery power. So it's it's just it's going to be the luck of the, the draw, man. If we can get you know, whatever we can get. So I'm going to put two of them on you, one forward and one backwards. <clears throat> yeah, so, so okay. So anyways, um, all right, well, let's talk about, um, well, it's really quick. Oh, well, not really quick. Okay, let's talk about the inauguration. It happened. Okay, President Trump, is, or Trump is now the president, all right? So there you go. Now, <clears throat> for all those who have been watching and listening on Facebook and on the, I don't want to say the news more than Facebook, uh, but even on the news, I caught something on, yeah, okay, I watch Fox News only because, you know, I'm done with the other news agencies, CNN, MSNBC, NBC, ABC, CBS, I'm done with them. Why? Because, you know, they've been brainwashing the public, the world, because everybody watches these news stations around the world, CNN, because <clears throat> it's on cable, satellite TV. And they've been brainwashing everyone. Why is it? Tell me, why is it that everyone is so against this dude, the dude that we call Trump? What is it? <clears throat> is it because he says, I love to grab women by the <clears throat> beep? Is it because of that? Is it because he made fun of a... <clears throat> of a... um I don't want to. That was the proper um, mentally challenged person, which he did not, because that was taken out of. It's just a complete lie. Was it that he said stuff that you heard on the news that make you think, "Wow, that's an ass for him to saying that" when he really didn't say it? The march that happened yesterday. Can somebody please tell me what they were marching against or for? I, you know. They're saying that now America is going to go back 100 years, back in the 1920s. I'm all, <clears throat> what? What are you talking about? All right? And just, it didn't make sense to me at all. Um, <clears throat> you know, I have really good friends who actually went to these things, and, and I'm like, you know, I asked them, why, what, what rights are being taken away from you? And they couldn't answer. Um, you know, the rights were basically being taken away from trying to be taken away with women during the Obama eight years because you guys have to understand that the Muslim ISIS, you know, Sharia law, all that is trying to move into the United States of America and if that happens, man, we're all screwed. Women, men, it's it's just you're, you're, our lives are going to be just knocked out. So, you know, something has got to be done. It's just I, I'm just tripping out that everybody is against Trump. I'm just blown away. Now, <clears throat> Ellen and I have been talking about this prophecy. Okay, we're going to talk about supernatural right now. Yeah. It, it, it's, it, it's involving religion. If you don't like religion, well, I'm sorry. It's supernatural stuff. And we're going to talk about it, all right? Because the frick, it's freaking happening. I don't know what to tell you, but it's, and I'm going to throw some stuff at you. It's going to be fact. And you tell me 
then I'm blowing smoke out of you, up your you know what because I'm not <laughs> right all right now I um when Trump started running I want to say let's say we started talking about this for Trump we, we I mean we were actually talking about the supernatural <laughs> aspect before Trump okay but then when Trump got involved, um, then you could see the supernatural starting to happen right. in <clears throat> our realm. You know what I mean? Like, and it looked like it might even get involved in our politics and, and which would <clears throat> impact our lives now and everyone's. Okay. For the past year, year and a half, people have been hearing s horns yep. all over the world. All right, we've actually played a lot of that here. Horns in the skies all over the world, even the United States. We're talking in, in here, um, in, in, New, in England, it just, in Australia. It, it was happening everywhere. People were getting it on audio. They don't know what it is, but we all heard it here because we played it for you. It was horns. People said trumpets. I'm going, okay, I didn't really hear the trumpets. I heard, mm, you know, like yeah. horns, like like boat horns, very loud horns. And we started researching and starting to get into that. And then Alan brought up about in the, I don't want to say the end of times, but in the Bible prophecy is when the <laughs> trumpets, the you know, there's certain aspects of the Bible leading all the way back to 2,500 years that certain trumpet uh, a tr um let's say a mark of the trumpet means a certain part of the prophecy has occurred or is going to occur um yeah it's like a sign a sign okay and, and that's what it called <laughs> they say it is when you hear and see these signs in space and all around really when you see these specific things right you know that you're in this time right okay now we talk about the bible why because it happens to be the most supernatural book that has ever been written. Why? For those who don't believe in the Bible, that's fine. For those who think it's coincidence, that's fine. But <laughs> what's happening right now as we speak around in on the news, around the world, it's, it's, it's sort of kind of, it's, it's, coming and it's, it's the bible is talking about it and, we, and i'm going to explain that to you um you know alan brought up five six seven eight months ago that he thought that and i didn't even think about it back then that trump was possibly and not and 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 i hope this doesn't sound like i'm totally whacked out of my mind but that trump was put where he's at for a reason yep okay and so what are you talking about well you know who is this guy this guy is a freaking billionaire he's been married three times he's had kids with three different women um he has said some uh, offensive things that if you were to hear it now it would be able to go wow what an ass this guy is yeah but you know what some of it like me and my wife are talking about that <clears throat> locker room talk. You know, I, you know, I do it. I, I'm everybody I mean, no, does. I am. Um, I mean, if they hold him his feet to the fire on that, then everybody should put their foot on the fireplace. Okay, because they all did. And it. don't tell yeah. me you guys <laughs> don't talk that way. Even, you know, there are people who are super religious. Who I mean, who like will not talk like that, yeah. and that's cool. But there are people who are very religious, like me, who I've said stupid things when I, you know, stuff will come out of my mouth and I'm like, oh, I just said that. Sorry, God. <laughs> you know, um, and it's because it's for the moment. Um, I'm trying to make myself sound bigger than I am. Uh, I'll get mad and say a bad word to somebody or something will happen and I'll I'll curse everybody does it all right but it doesn't mean that you're a bad person so let's talk about this trump dude this reality show host founder um you know 
this guy said one day, I'm going to run for freaking president. Bah! <laughs> You're going to run for president. <laughs> You're a fool. Um, all the Republican nominees who he was going against, he kicked their asses. Right now, how in the hell did that happen? Dude, everybody's still in disbelief. There's like, what the heck? Now, all the way, you know, we've talked about this. The elections are always rigged. You know, we don't pick who we think the president is going to be is going to be picked. They pick them. Who is they? The elite. Who is the elite? You got Soros, the Bilderbergs, all those dudes are the ones who put who they feel should be in president so they can put their hand up their skirt and go like this. We tell you what to do and you do it because of the puppets. All right. But what happened this time? What they do is they are in control of everything. What, what, what do you mean control of everything? It's up to them to persuade you to vote for a certain person. How do they do that? The media. And they own it. All right. We're talking you know. everyone. Yeah. All right. Now, do they own Fox News as well? Eh, I, you know, I, I thought they owned everybody, but. Why is it that the Fox News is not following in the footsteps as CNN, MSNBC, NBC, Univision, ABC, CBS? I don't know. So let's stop right there. Let's not talk about Fox News. All right. Let's talk about everybody else. Their job was to persuade all of you to think that Trump is an asswipe. He is not good for this country. He is going to take the rights away from women. He's a racist. He hates blacks, Xenophobe. Asians, Mexicans. He's going to send all Mexican people back over to Mexico where you belong, and then we're going to build that wall. Tough. Well, he said a lot of that, but not that way. And the media t took it out of content and of context. They, they put a spin it, on it. Yeah, and then when the people who follow CNN, MSG, you know, and they listen to that, they take it as fact. Now, I, for a while now, figured out that these freaking media people are just, and not all of them, but the bigwigs. I mean, we're talking the big guys who get paid $2 million, $3 million, the anchors $5 million a year. Those guys are being told to do this, do it this way, say this about him, and we'll, we'll give you $5, $10 million a year to keep doing it. If, if somebody would have come to you and say, we want you to be the anchor of, of, of this station and all you do is read the teleprompter and I'm going to pay you freaking 15 million a year, what would you say? Okay. <laughs> if somebody came to me and said that, I said, okay. All right. Because come on, 15 million a year, my family and I would sit pretty. And if they want to continue paying me 15 million a year, oh my God. I mean, that's just outrageous. That's, that's, that's the, ang the actors. How much do they get paid per movie? And then residuals after that. Ridiculous it's, amount. It's, it's, it's crazy. All right? So think about this. Who are the ones right now who are absolutely going against Trump? It's all those people who are getting paid millions and millions of dollars. Madonna today or yesterday. You know, t yesterday at the march, wherever she was. She pretty much said, I wish, I've, I've actually wished I'd blow up the White House, you know? Um, <clears throat> it, it, it's, they're, they're, they're just, they're freaking going off the hook. But why against Trump? It's like, what's up with this dude? So does this guy have magical powers? Is this, this, is, this, is, this, is this guy not one of us? Maybe that's it. I really been entertained, like, bef okay, before the election, mm -hmm. okay, <clears throat> I, I I saw this video and and I don't know how many people, movie stars, anchors, everybody was like, um, politicians, Trump is not gonna win. I mean, they were like, they were positive, like they knew in advance, like, you know, like when little green men land on Washington lawn, then maybe Trump might win. But 
but he's not gonna. <clears throat> there win. is no he way he should have won. There is no way he should have won. Then the day of the election, they're talking all about what he had to do if he was going to win. <clears throat> if, if. And you mean by going into certain states yeah. and counties to win? So he did that. Yeah, but only there. They're like in the middle of the count. And then by the middle of the night, then they were like, wait a minute. They were starting to see him winning. And they're like, cannot. It was like, no, no way. No does way. not compute. Does not compute. Right. And then he won. And then you could see some of them crying. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're like, talking the media, guys. Something happened, right? Something happened. Right. Now. So that's what we're trying to put across. Something happened. Something happened. happened. It's like. All the media were like totally blown away. Now, so, because I remember doing this show way back four years ago, eight years ago, like, you know, Obama was put in there because the elections were rigged. Yeah, I remember. You know, that's not the case. It, it's because the media told you about him on how to vote. That's how it's done. It's because it's like, you know, the rumor that came out that Russia hacked the elections and it's rigged and he's not my president. There's no way the Russians had something to do with it. But you know what? If that was the case, then then why did Hillary win the popular vote? Answer me that. Okay? She won the popular vote by almost 2.5 million people. It, it, it's because Trump's people knew what to do in order to win the electoral votes, and that's what was needed to win. Now, it, it maybe, just maybe, there's a battle going on in our government. Okay? Okay. And I, I think that's really what happened, is there's a battle going on, Okay. And the ones that was on a certain side, okay, they could they, they they were buying off our politicians and stuff by you know just like give you lots of money. I mean, they raised they raised way more money than Trump oh, did. Uh, Hillary by, spent over a billion dollars yeah, on her I mean, election, and and it wasn't out of her pocket. No, it was coming from somewhere. It was okay. coming from the countries that that had her in their back pockets, basically pay to play. All this stuff, and that's that's where the um, Clinton Foundation comes into See, play. I did, a, I did a bunch of research on this, and <clears throat> and the way I could explain how what I found is like if if you know anything about the Bible, even if you don't, you could pick up a Bible and you could go to the first chapter of the New Testament, and it starts off begatting. That's, I mean, it doesn't tell any story, and it's like. Such and such begat such and such, such begat, 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 all the way to a certain guy, okay? Now, the people in charge, these really rich, what everybody calls the one percenters, they own everything, the media, they own our government. They have, they have a grip on our <clears throat> government. They, they've been, like, taking apart our, our military, they're putting chemtrails. They're putting GMOs. They're do, you know they're, they're they're doing this to keep us in check, right? And it's working because how do you think Obama won, guys? All right, now they even gave Obama. And what's weird is like when you go and look at, and I know a lot of people don't, and I don't even. I mean, I don't even go to church, you guys. Yeah, and I, I don't go know. to church. I used to go to church, but I don't. Only I research everything, okay, that they gave Obama the peace Nobel Peace Prize. Right. The UN right. gave it to him, mm -hmm. okay? So he has a title of the man of peace. Okay, now today I heard that Trump is going is to back out of the UN. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's getting out of it. Mm -hmm. They're evil. They're, okay... These people, one world order, guys. That's what the UN's all about. These people that run that and run the big corporations and all that. Guess what they could do? When I was talking about begatting, they can begat their bloodline and begat this, begat, 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 begat all the way back to Egypt. 
They're the royal families. They're, they always been in charge. Always. They put, they're, they're the ones that actually set up. I mean, I don't even know how Obama got in there. I don't know how he got a Nobel Peace Prize. I mean, I really don't. It, it, I mean, think about, you know, where this guy came from. and All of a sudden, boom, there he is. I mean, we were talking about that in my uh, I mean, that's so supernatural. We it's, like, it's like, where did this guy come from? He was only a senator for like uh, not even half a term or a quarter of a term or whatever. He was a lawyer. He never had a, uh, well, a, a paying job, really. He was a org you know, a, a organizer anyways. Is like, where did this guy come from? Yeah, you know, and they we all, him, you know what? I, I thought, there. I thought he was the Antichrist because it's like he just they came stay, out. Of, they're saying that still. Okay, well, mm -hmm. well, we'll get to that part. So, so now it's like, okay, so Obama, I mean Obama, Trump. Mm -hmm. All right, you know why? Why is everybody against him? All right, I want you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys two words. The president and the vice president. You guys, okay, listen, listen to this. The last names of our president and vice president. Trump, Pence. Trump, Pence. Trump, Pence. Trump, Pence. Trump, Pence. Trump, Pence. Do you see where I'm going with this? And I saw the logo you put up last night. Trump, Pence. Pal. Trump, Pence. It, really? Is that a freaking coincidence? Trump, Pence, Trumpets? Think about that for a second. Let it sink in. <laughs> Think about this for a minute. You know who Hillary's uh, running mate was? Kane. Kane. And then, okay, like if we're talking Trumpets, Bible talk, here. Bible Bible talk. talk. Kane and Abel. Kane is the bloodline, starting the bloodline of the bloodline that they can trace all the way. To Trump, the UN people. Pence. Trump, Pence, Trump, Pence. Okay, now did anybody, now obviously I've known about for a while, did anybody watch the inaugural balls like I did? I did. There was one, there was three of them, four of them they showed on TV. Do you guys remember watching the one where they had all the kids on stage playing instruments and singing cover, st cover, uh, cover uh, songs? Did you, did you remember the two cute boys kids that were singing and dancing what instruments were they playing trumpets both of them and they were do 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 i mean every song do 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 trumpets and then it's like holy smokes and they were right in your freaking face the, the the video cameras were right on those two kids they were blowing both of them were blowing trumpets like what is that a coincidence? What 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 <laughs> what top forty band do you know play trumpets at every song? <laughs> okay, go back and watch that. Is that a freaking coincidence? Trump, Pence, and all of a sudden these two kids are playing trumpets. And then this that that was actually the first inaugural ball that they were um, showing on TV, and it didn't hit me then until yesterday, and I'm going, holy crap. And I told my wife, and she went, whoa. And I went, yeah, whoa. Okay. Um, so, okay, so, all right. Is it a coincidence that Trumpets, Trumpets, and then all of a sudden, okay, so, you know, who is Trump? He's a freaking billionaire, a, a loudmouth dude. But but he knows he knows his stuff. He, on, he knows. On okay. So what what yesterday morning? Uh, yesterday night. Yesterday morning. Yes, yesterday night. I was watching. Okay, Fox News. Sorry if you don't like Fox News, whatever. But then I was watching uh, a news anchor talking to a pastor. Listen. Uh, today, um, let's start off with what you did this morning and what you talked about. Um, a passage in the Bible that you think describes Donald Trump. Now, well, the title of the message was when God chooses a leader. And I saw a lot of similarities between Donald Trump and another leader God raised up 2,500 years ago to restore Israel. This leader wasn't a politician or a priest. He was a builder named Nehemiah. And God told him to build a wall around Jerusalem as his first step in restoring the nation. Mr. Trump got a big kick out of that. But it was true. And I went on to talk about, Martha, why God 
God bless Nehemiah as a leader in restoring the nation. And so what I was trying to do was encourage not only President Trump, but his cabinet and Vice President Pence. Yeah, I, a lot of people find it curious that the evangelical community embraced him. You know, there were plenty of other people in this race, Ted Cruz and, and others, who might have been a, a better fit for the yeah. evangelical community. But he managed to, to get the vote of evangelicals in a stronger way than any of them you know, certainly did in the primaries, and then others have gotten before. Well, the reason I supported him, and by the way, it was a year ago this weekend, I reminded Mr. Trump today that we were flying around Iowa before the first vote cast, and I said, I believe you're going to be the next president of the United States. And if that happens, it's because God has placed you in this position of leadership. I thought he would win, and the reason I supported him, Martha, is I thought he was the only candidate who had the leadership skills necessary to reverse the downward spiral of the country. But I also thought he was the only one who could win against Hillary Clinton. All right. Now, I heard that, and I went, blah, 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 blah. are you kidding me? They're talking about this on Fox News. And, you know, Fox News is that type of newscast that would probably be the only newscast that would play something like this. But think about what he just said. He's not a politician. He is a normal dude who happens to be a very powerful, um, egotistical person who's not going to take S shit from anybody, all right? That's the type of guy you need in there right now if you want to clean up this freaking mess. Well, what mess are you talking about, Jeff? For that eight years that we had Obama, it's been perfect. It's been beautiful. No, it hasn't. Not really. Um... So, some of my executive <clears throat> friends that, that are they're executives right and mm -hmm. they make good money their insurance they they didn't have right they, they decided they didn't they weren't going to have it and then they got fined because <clears throat> they didn't have it i mean like is oh. that a good oh you're talking about a business actual business yeah oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah they're, and... they're like getting fined and sentenced. They're going to get sentenced to jail sure. if they didn't buy insurance, right. you know, and they're, they're like incredible, like what? And if that was you the know? case, then, you know, the insurance was going to be so outrageous oh, that was, they, they would yeah. have to fold and just go bankrupt and close the, you know, close their business. Because they they, they were just... griping to me, like <clears throat> I wanted the, you know, like they were, they're used to getting the gold plan or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't even afford the bronze plan. You know, that's what they were saying, too. Like, man, I can't even afford the bronze plan. And these guys make money. I mean, right. they're, they make good money. Right. And they couldn't afford it. Yep. And so there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes, but the media never told you about that stuff. Now, am I right now, am I, am I you know, oh, Jeff, you just don't like Obama. You're a racist. And you're going after him because you just don't like the dude. Well, there was things that he was doing that I was not liking at all and for one thing i have a family i have kids all right and it we have we have to protect our children mm -hmm. and children's children my friend who's in the military he goes over to iran and iraq and 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 to train these soldiers they you know he there was a and i think i've told the story before but we were at the sanger uh, frankie gonzalez's uh, mayor um, party fundraiser and he came up to me because you know he follows me on Facebook and you know he's the guy the total hard head Republican does not like Obama and it was for Trump like you wouldn't believe and he said Jeff man he goes you know when I'm out there you know these people um, you know from from oh, from the other countries come up to him and said man you guys need to put a stop to this because what's happening is these people who are going over to the United States of America, who are kids, who are teenagers, are setting up shop. And in another five, ten years, there's going to be everywhere. They're going to get the word, and it's going to be all over for you Americans over there if you guys don't start cleaning up this mess It'd right be all now. All-out war. Absolutely. And okay. I mean, we were doing that too. Like, how many shows have we talked about <clears throat> prepping? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was looking like that. And I mean, mm -hmm. everybody was, everybody, like how to build a Faraday cage and all this stuff. I mean, like. And it's not, and that was, and you know, that was because we were thinking um, terrorist attack. Right, right. exactly. And, and you know, a terrorist attack, you know, one atomic bomb in a certain location, dude, will totally just annihilate our communications, our grid, and we're dead in the water. But 
Um, and then when that happens, you know, all they have to do is send out a, a signal to all the sleeper cells and they'll come out blazing, guns are blazing. You won't know what's happening because there's no communications. It's and, like, you know, and we were like, we're, we were like running on agenda 21. And if you guys don't know what that is, look it up on, on Google. We're running on agenda 21. They're about halfway into their plan. Um, that meant we were going to turn into like their police force and they're going to put their guys, the UN guys over here, do martial law. And they have all these, everybody knows about it. FEMA camps everywhere. I mean, like we were going to get locked up. We're going to, we're going to have problems. I mean, people where people are like my trucker friends or they got a food stash and, and weapons and ammo and everything they need to survive. Right. But they're on the road and they can't have a gun in the truck at all. The law got signed. No gun in the truck. Man, where do you need a gun? You need it in the truck. You know what I mean? You're out there all by yourself on the road. Like, I would be carrying a gun even though. But So so they're like way over there. Something <clears throat> happens. How do they get back to their, it, you it, know? It, it, good luck. But, I mean, that's what, that's what that was the climate under Obama. Right. And that's what everybody was selling, all us, that stuff. Us people in the know-how were preparing yeah. the people who watched the media and listened to Obama had no clue because that's the whole idea of being brainwashed you guys right and a lot of people are going to be pissed off at me right now if well, they're, that, they're if talking about like put, we're brainwashed now because we're kind of happy that there's a guy that's going to fight yeah. for our side okay so now so let's go back to the bible supernatural yeah. supernatural stuff okay not a coincidence supernatural why is this stuff in this book that it was written thousands of years ago is happening right now. There's one country that is basically the country to look at. And that's Israel. All right. So let's talk about Israel. Um, why do all of the countries that are involved in the United Nations hate Israel? They totally want it abolished. They want it to evaporate, go away, gone. All right? Even Obama, the, God, what is it, five days before his last day as being president, signed something or did not go to the United Nations or did not, it, it, it was like, was part of get rid of Israel. Israel's bad. We don't want Israel. And if you go back to the Bible, it says that once Israel does not become itself, then the shit's going to hit the fan. So everybody was against Israel, but one person. Who is that one person? Trump. The dude was so for, so for Israel. What, what does Trump have to do with Israel? What, 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 um, why is he so in love with Israel? I don't understand. What, what is it? Did someone pull him aside and said, hey, dude, this is what's going down. You were put here for a reason. You need to go over there, step it up, and protect that country, or else the thing is going to happen. What are you talking about, thing? The thing. I... What, what? The end days. The end. The end of days, dude. I mean, this is what's supposed to happen. So Trump said to Israel, "I'm going to, I'm going to have your back, man. That's it. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to send my guys in there. We're going to protect you." As a matter of fact, tomorrow, from my sources, are saying that the embassy. In uh, oh, he's moving. He's it. moving it to Jerusalem. Yeah, from Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv to, to Jerusalem to tomorrow, and we talked about that uh, three weeks ago. We said I have a feeling he is going to move the embassy in from from Tel Aviv into Jerusalem, which is in Israel. All right now, look, Jerusalem. That that's I the mean, city everybody is fighting over. Why is that? And, and I, mean, I mean that, that I mean when that you talk when, is this is where the supernatural comes that's in that's like this mecca I mean we're talking I mean uh, Jerusalem is 
this Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, we're talking, you know, we're going back in the Bible now. Jerusalem is Jesus Christ. I mean, you talk when you talk about Jerusalem, you're talk, you're thinking Jesus Christ, guys. All right? This is supernatural stuff. Don't tell me, don't get mad at me and say, Jeff, this is bullshit. Um, I'm telling you what is happening. Tomorrow, he's moving the embassy into Jerusalem. Now, all the Muslim countries are going, oh, no, 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 no. Dude, I can tell you right now, there's going to be a war. That, 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 that cannot happen because it's, the Muslims do not want Israel to succeed. All right? It's, it's going to happen. All right? And, this, and this, this is all foretold in the Bible. Yeah. But it has to happen this way. It starts with trumpets. And it's, <laughs> you know, it starts this way. You know, we're going to call from Charles. Let's get this call from Charles here. Charles. Man, Charles. Hey, I, I was hearing. Are you there? Yeah. What's yeah, up, Charles? Uh, some, uh, something you brought up, I'll explain why. You were talking about Trump and his uh, love and respect for uh, Israel. Ivanka is uh, oh, a husband of the Orthodox Jew, and she converted. Yes, she did. And so that is the that is every bit of that. Okay. Well, that's good. And I know she converted uh, in order to marry him. She had to convert to do, ju- to be a, a Jewish, and, and and that's how come she married him. Now you know what? Check it out. You know what scares me though, and what? and this has been going through my head for the past week, week and a half. Mm-hmm. You know, he put Ivanka's husband in his cabinet to. Yes to to go and make peace in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. And it's like, where did this guy come from? What where did this who is this dude? No different than Obama putting people in. Okay. But, but I understand, but it's like he was putting Muslims. Yeah, but but it's like, you know, I just had a, a weird feeling about this mm-hmm. guy. You know, when you look at him, he's just like have you researched him to see no, what he's no, like? No, no, I no, I haven't. I've uh, just I've been I'll keep look into look it. into him. Who, who is he? He's he's definitely a, a well educated person. He's a money guy. He's a businessman, real estate mogul. Um, but he married into the family. Married Ivanka Trump, lucky dog. And <laughs> but but look look at him. <laughs> look at this dude. Look at the way he presents himself. Trump has been saying this guy here. It's going to go, and he's going to make peace in the Middle East. This guy's going to do it. And it's like... See, that's not what I heard, though. Like, I, but, I've been going on uh, But But that's what, Trump, that's what Trump is saying to this dude. This is what this dude... Well, I mean, he's sending him over there to make peace between... Like, for us, not for all the whole world. Oh, oh, yeah, it's just between us, and we're going yeah. to be one Okay, to, okay. Well, I, I hope that's the case, because... That like, is, and I yeah. think we will be an ally of Israel, and Russia will be. Russia will and be, the, too. The, the fact that we get together with Russia is very important because <clears throat> we are the two superpowers that can control China and the rest and, and probably take care of what's going on. Putin, years ago, was uh, when he came to power was when Russia was going after Afghanistan. They they know that that's a problem. Why did uh, why did Russia spend ten years trying to? Uh, take care of Afghanistan, and that was where Putin got his um, bones in. But the most important thing about uh, Ivanka is, in the Jewish religion, the female carries the bloodline. So now, through the Trump hybrid, with that, he has his bloodline has been inter- injected into the. Uh, family of israel Ooh, wow just think of that well you know like I, I, the mother, I um the mother is how it's passed on and then when you can when the mother converts if it's even if it's a a, a gentile that converts her she is the one because the mother passes the mitochondria and That's that true. is where they tell it i never thought about that and the mitochondria is the furnace it is a little nuclear reactor in the cell that pr- provides the energy. Uh, whatever's going on in the cell can't exist unless it's got its uh, power plant. And the mitochondria is the power plant, and it's all about energy and power. And, and that, I think 
the world, I feel supremely safe after noon Friday. <laughs> yeah. I felt this, this sense of well-being. Walked out the door. <laughs> the sun got brighter. You, me Paris too, bro, there. brother. Oh, my God. It was like a relief of, oh, it, it, actually, it happened to me on November the 8th. Mm-hmm. I, when that happened, I went, <sighs> Yeah, but there, there is different. Everybody did that. Mm-hmm. But think of all the horrible things that Obama could have done with executive orders, and he mm-hmm. looks. The, the, there was a picture of him in the car in Palm Springs yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. He, he go- looks horrible oh, already. Oh, dude. I think they pointed at him and said, "If you don't behave, you can you can have this or this outrageous thing. Go ahead and let some people out of prison. But if they're still in prison." He can uh, Trump can write an executive order overriding that executive order and pardon. Well, I'm I'm gonna make a prediction about Obama. What? Like I I am um, I died once, okay, mm-hmm. twice really, and I went on the other side and I came back and that, and then ever since then I'm always researching near death experiences or mm-hmm. people that that died and went. Well, a little boy died, 15 years old, in Israel. And he wasn't religious. He didn't go to church. He didn't do any, you know, wear anything. He, but when he came back, he came back with a story that we're in the end about what we're talking about right now. This is what he was giving the end time scenario, and he was telling the politics going on. And he he said that the UN was going to send the man of peace over to Israel. And there's actually going to be a war over there. And the Messiah was going to kill Gog and bury him in Israel. And now when you go in the Bible and you read it, it says Gog gets killed and gets buried in Israel, right? So Mm -hmm. Gog, G-O-G. G-O-G, Gog. Gog Gog and Magog. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then they're like, so far, like when they had, he was sitting there and there was all these rabbis around him mm-hmm. of the top rabbis of Israel. And they're grilling this kid, right? And they, and they had another rabbi that was like moderating and making sure they didn't tear him up, right. you know, because he really didn't know well, the, I, what the was, Bible. I thought that was his father who was sitting right next uh-huh. to him. That no. was just one of the top okay. guys. And he brought, he brought the kid there because to tell his story. Like, he has heard this story from other people with near-death experiences like a bunch of times, and he just wanted to bring it to their attention. Sure. And then, they, you know, they're asking him about who, you know, different things. <clears throat> and he was naming people. And they're like, okay, so do you know who the na-? He goes, who's Gog? And he's like, oh, the mo- a real famous person. Everybody knows him, you know. Like, um, but do you know his name? He's like, yeah. So what's his name? And he said, uh, Obama. Obama's his name, and he works for the UN, and he's going to get buried so in Israel. In the past, you've but heard that, that was changed. Though he would, if Hillary had been elected, that was part of the deal. He was going to be made the ambassador to the UN. What? Watch him go in there, anyways. He can't go in there. The president has to. Uh, no, we're us. we're pulling out from there. Yeah, I know, I know, but see, he. They cannot. He will be totally impotent with the UN. And if we pull out of the UN, they don't have a place to be because they, what, they, what, what, they're on a free ride. They're what, free well, ride what, what if free. then? What if the UN all agrees? Whoever is now part of the UN agrees. You know what? Let's bring Obama in as our president. And I mean, because you know, if we're not, if we're not in there. Then who gives a crap? But what if? Just what if? I mean, they gave him That's the Nobel problem. Peace Prize. That's well, their problem. Well, They're on the right side. Well, I re- on the right side. They're I realize that, side. but what what Alan is saying is, what if that he mm-hmm. does get involved in the UN without, you know, associating himself with the United States of America, and does that goes to Israel and all of a sudden die? So well, let, let let's see what happens. Let's see what Obama's job is now going to be obviously playing golf let's see what now because he said he was not going to leave washington he's going to stick around only because his daughters are in school but he is not done yet i don't feel i feel like he's not done yet 
All right. But did you see something real interesting about the hat? You know about the, the home he bought. He bought the home he bought is a thousand feet from the the biggest mosque on the east coast. And what is he doing? He's building a wall, wall around the house. It. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's for protection from any illegal activity from going near his property. Uh, hypocritical there, but um, okay, but. So we're saying it right now, guys. Let's say what happens if what Obama... What if the kid is right? What if Obama is still going to get in there somehow like, in the U.S.? Like I'm gonna, but at I, least we won't, be, we won't be officially tied. No, 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 no. That, that's not the point. The point is prophecy. But, like, yeah, like the, oh, yeah, he could easily get there. Right. But we're not going to be... No, we're not gonna no, be, uh, no. As of, um, as of uh, yesterday, he said we're, we're out of the U.N., that's it. We're done. Even Israel's yep. pulling out of the UN. That's it. We're done. We're done with them. And I went yes, because um, it, it's it's about time. There's a lot of people who don't want our money being invested. As a matter of fact, right before Obama left office, he gave the UN five hundred million dollars for climate change. Yep. He says he go, and it's like that doesn't that can be uh, <laughs> undone with you know that that is one of the um, executive orders. I hope that so. Trump, that Trump signed was to remove all mention of climate change in every yeah. uh, government document. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, but, and, and now if that's the case, does, then when that happens, does that revoke the money? Mm-hmm. I hope so. Yeah. That, okay. Well, that would the, be UN cool. will, the UN will move to Brussels. Get them out of New York. It's and time. That, and that's moving right into the blue bloods, right over there to the yeah. bloodline. But let, the them, let them face, let them mm-hmm. face fire and brimstone okay so or, they, or, or they'll move to the vatican one of the two things oh shit <laughs> and, uh, oh, man. and speaking you know. of speaking of like oh, what's man. happening to italy right now think about it uh-huh. they're getting swamped with ice they can bike man they've been well, they well, have but, been they've been like well how many earthquakes okay, and earthquake. then avalanches right. and i mean them poor people are getting slammed but the good people will be protected i, I hope so where you are when shaking and baking goes on if you're a righteous person you don't have to worry about it and it's really not the end of times no it's no the beginning of god's time right right well no it, thousand it's years of grace and if we can be here when this happens and be alive wow we become we are immortals right right we live right. a thousand years and that's the reason people shouldn't give up they should hang on because that will be the ultimate blessing to see God on earth and have eyes that we can actually look at him right. and not be blinded, but our bodies will change enough and, and everything will change enough that we can taste and experience walking with God. But, that, you, will that not be just amazing? You know what Man. a lot of people don't realize? Like like we're, we're talking, this is what's the supernatural part of this part of the story. Mm-hmm. Okay, like this is the story that started 6,000 years ago or more where we got put under a curse and we never we don't know how we're supposed to be right we don't know because we we weren't born exactly how he created us to be like right we so, are so but, the but whole point of the acted. the whole point of the story was he had to win back what adam and eve took away from us yeah. okay so he came back, and then he did it. He was the final whatever uh, sacrifice, He's, you know. And then he said, I'm going to go be with my father for a little while. Even though he was all ready, he was all ready. He came, he, it's like God came to earth and became a man so that he could win back what we haven't ever experienced, mm-hmm. that we were created to experience. Like we're supposed to be able to see this paranormal side that we don't see, that we talk about every week. Okay, just that, just for those people who are just tuning in right now for the very first time, this is not a religious show, <laughs> all right? This is not a religious show. It just so happens that we talk about religion because it's supernatural with Bigfoot and UFOs and aliens and Loch Ness Monsters and, uh, and shadow people. We're talking about and it right ghost. now only be, and, yeah, because because of what just happened on Friday. Yeah. That's the reason why we're talking about this. So don't take, don't, don't, don't like, don't 
Um, well, like, I mean, what, like, what, what are you guys talking about? This religion crap. I, I'm, I don't want to listen to this crap. What, I, what I'm about. I don't think you're religious. You're spiritual. What, what I'm about, yeah, but there's a lot of people that once you mention God or the Bible, they tune out. They yeah. tune out that I don't want to listen to this. I don't want to listen to this. Mm -hmm. But but I, what I'm trying to say for those people who right now are just like their hands are on the knob and they're going, do, do I turn them off? Do I should I listen to more? This is supernatural stuff, guys. Well, they they just all need to hear watching. Keep listening. They all, all right? need to hear this one last little thing. Okay. okay, so this dude came back, broke the curse. He, with his own blood, bought back what we were rightfully created to be like. And in a soon, when the Trump <laughs> starts happening and everything, right? There's going to be a change. It'll be real fast. All of a sudden, you'll be able to see every single thing that... Now. now. You'll be able to see the ghost and now. the demons. Now. And the, My wife was t uh, reading a bunch of stuff and says that... There's some weird ass flares happening right now coming from there, yeah. but not from the sun, but from the galaxy, from the universe coming this way and hitting us. And mm -hmm. people are changing. Yep. People, there are kids in India right now, there's people all over the world who are now are able to do things that were never, that humans could never do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're right. like, they're developing these gifts. Like why all of a sudden all these people, and is that, the, what's happening? It is, might be. I, I don't know. Have you ever thought it could be. Part, part of the curse was that our senses were, our, our vision was limited to a certain wavelength, our hearing certain frequencies. The, what we feel with our soul and heart was limited. The, the, the bandwidth was limited. We're going from dial up to. Wi-Fi, God-Fi, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and, and and you know it's the, you know what, and I think the government knows the the, mm -hmm. the the new world order, the elite knows this is coming because they're part of the evil and the good. They don't want this to happen because once we f figure this shit out, we're gonna go. Holy smokes, this is what we're supposed to do. This, you are bad. Get away. Um, that's why. The stuff they're putting in water, the chemtrails, the Monsanto, the the the, the, the calcifying of the 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 penile, the penile gland, you know, they don't want us to see this stuff, but it's happening. Um, but it won't work on us. Uh, it as as this uh, broadening of the spectrum we get, those things fall away. And you, and you know, snakes, if, you know, rattlesnakes can bite us, and the poison won't get us. Even Nothing if will you, affect us. germs won't affect us. As the God spills out his glory and power on us, those things are no longer in control. Well, even it, my it, friends that are like into chakra and meditating and spirit uh -huh. guides and all that stuff. I mean, I have a lot of friends like that. And I like I don't cut them down for their belief I and mean, they can believe whatever they want, just like they shouldn't be cutting us down for what mm -hmm. we're talking about. I mean, we're just talking about the supernatural part of our life everybody's life that happens mm -hmm. they even are sensing the change and the veil being like Re, uh, um like getting take, take more yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. they're starting to see more and they're <clears throat> they're feeling more they're actually feeling that whatever it is you're talking about coming you know Don't i mean it's coming everybody's seek. talking about it everybody on every side of every Maybe, now, is that yeah. maybe, is that why there is so much ghost activity happening? Is it, is, is it, is it you know, the Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. first one, why why all of a sudden all these spirits and st are starting to come out and people are starting to witness this stuff is because... Like what, Dog it, Man? It's the, like, oh my God, how many of days, Dog Mans you know? have you heard in the not, last not month? Me, or not me, I don't listen to that stuff, oh, I know. man. But dog anyways, man. But, but, but yeah, but you know, some crazy stuff. It is absolutely awesome to be alive right now don't you think that with the power and enlightenment that's coming cern is backfiring the people put it out to do one thing but with the power of god to it it's doing exactly the opposite of what they intended it to do and you know that's what god can do he can make he, he is a bridge over troubled waters that is ultimately what god is and he is bridging us. He's the rainbow bridge that gets us from here to heaven on earth. And heaven on earth is 
it's always been there, but for some reason, we had a mask on, we had blinders, we had everything that prevented us. We knew it was there. Some people got inklings of it, but everything's going to fall away. It'll be like snowflake com- snowflakes coming down when the veil completely breaks. And I think start seeing the image behind it. It's going to be, be able to walk. It's going to be soon, man. I, I, it's, you know, you can taste it. Did you see? <laughs> did you see the thing on um, Drudge uh, in the past day or two? Which one? They have uh, come out. There's this top uh, mathematician had the formulas that prove there is God. He is the top mathematician. Uh, of the 20th century and they're just now uh, letting out the information his formulas pr- prove there is a God and a creator holy smokes I'm, how did I miss that I don't know but I'll try to find a link to it and well it, yeah I mean if it's on Drudge I'll go check it out later I mean right. I, I watch Drudge just go through the search okay. proof of God okay. and, uh, and wow. it shows a video about him and everything <clears throat> but it's going to be ir- everything's going to be irrefutable and any seeker, even if they're seek, seeking in the gutters of religion, they will actually, I think they will see the truth. Okay. There, because the, they'll hear the knock. Yeah, there, there are people. hear the trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who think, that, who, who, who say that they are religious, very religious, but are not. Oh, yeah. And and I have a lot of friends, oh my God, on Facebook that are just, they think they're the, they go to church and they're, you know, but that's like how I don't go to church. It, really, it, it's it's not I'm that. Sorry. It it's okay. So, yeah. all right. religion and being close to God are two different things. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's you're close to God by the Spirit, not by the building. And then that's you know, like you were talking about Jesus <clears throat> coming down here, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesus was uh, God incarnate in, yeah. in in body. He was material God. God is the power. The Holy Spirit is you know, soul and spirit. And we have the three realms of the universe right there. And then they're all going to come up, come alive and come awake. And it's it's going it's you can just feel it. Yeah. I had an experience <laughs> the past three days with something going on with somebody and I just went ahead and did my gut thing and did what and then we found out somebody I knew was really terrible what they were doing to this family. I mean, a completely evil person was sabotaging them, wishing somebody to have cancer in the family. Getting all, we found out because of a message, some messages that went through, and then they tried to lie lie about it. They'd been hacking their computer and their phone and knowing everything they were doing. And I said, do you think that's somebody you really need to be around? I said, I told you, I got the willies when I saw them. Their eyes, they, they had eyes like a pit bull or a shark, totally dead. <laughs> you know, they were just glaring ahead. And it was one of those things, I just couldn't hold my tongue. And I think everybody will find that. You'll speak the truth. But I think Trump is the, the braggadocious, I, everything. I know, it, it, and it's, it's hard. Baby. It is hard to believe. It is absolutely hard to believe that this man who is called Trump, is where he's at because of what he's supposed to do. It, he, it, beat like, it's every, like, he beat every odd. I mean, think, think, I mean, you guys who are not Trump fans out there who are watching us right now, thank you that you're still watching us. Yeah. But just think about this, all right? What we're telling you is it's what's happening right now, all right? It's like... Man, there is some supernatural stuff going on here, and you cannot deny it. Him just being it's in the awesome. offices. It's freaking... Like, I, I, he's King David. It's, I think he is the incarnation of King David. It, King, King David loved the women. <laughs> he did, and oh. he was really... He had, had it all materially, right. but God loved him because he actually loved life you know and he appreciated what god gave him and i think trump is really not going to church just to for a show and when i heard that he was buying he had bought tons of buildings most people don't know this uh, all over new york old dilapidated buildings out of his own money uh re, re uh 
doing them and giving them to neighborhood churches. Dang. I didn't care what the denomination do- was. He was giving them places to worship. See, I found it. I was found some videos. I don't know if anybody ever heard of him. His name's Kim Clement. And I, and I don't really follow the guy at all, you know. Uh-huh. I was just looking up Trump and Bible, right? Trying to, like, mm-hmm. make a, um, you know, try to figure out what is the Bible talking about with this guy, right? I mean, because I could tell, like everybody else, it's, like, supernatural. Something's going on, you know. Mm-hmm. And I came across a video. <clears throat> this guy calls himself a prophet, and he's a piano player, you know. And uh, he, when he starts playing and singing, he starts, like, singing what God's telling him. Uh-huh. In 2007, this guy starts singing about Trump being president. And I saw, I have seen the video. He sent me the link. And, and then he kept doing it. Like, every couple of years, every year or so, he would do it again and do it again. He kept on mm-hmm. saying it. And then and now the guy passed away, like, yeah, I, right I don't, before the election. Yeah. And really? really? Right, right before be- the election? And right, right before it, he was wow. still saying Trump is going to be the president. And, you want me to give you a prediction about something? Sure. And I I saw the speech that she made, and I immediately call, called everybody I knew and said, Ivanka Trump will be the first female president. She's brilliant. She's got poise. And this will be, if there is a dynasty created, this will be it. And then, see, that makes much more sense about her converting to Judaism and it going through the bloodline that America, in effect, will embrace its Jewish uh, Jewishness. Man, that's interesting. See, I think yeah. we're one of the Let's tribes. I think the tribe that came here is one of the tribes of Israel. She, she is brilliant. Let me tell you that right now. And, and uh, did you see what uh, Clinton did when he saw oh, her abs- walking abs- down the steps? Absolutely. He goes, Ivanka. I think half of America <laughs> did that. <laughs> I, I mean, come on. I was looking at her. I'm going, wow. Wow. I mean. Could you imagine how she could... Uh, and I bet all I, those dirty old men. I bet Bill Clinton <laughs> went absolutely nuts in Washington yesterday with all the clit heads. Oh, oh, running yeah. around, I bet that dude you know, didn't know where to go. You know, my, uh, you know, there Actually, are people. Actually, Judd really slid down the ladder a little bit, didn't she? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. everybody well, did. Madonna but I bet, I bet like, like gold, uh, I bet Clinton was like on a building or a high rise somewhere, just going, with "Wow, the, look at all that!" With binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Charles, man, we're gonna let you go, dude. You be good. Mm. Thank and you. Just enjoy the banquet that's coming. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait, man. It, it, it's gonna it's be fun. Gonna be wonderful. Right on. And we are safe now. We, did you know, I was, I'll was. i tell you one thing. I live in a pathway where a lot of planes go over at night. Mm-hmm. Military planes, because of the terrain here, they do a lot of testing. And uh, the pilots get used to flying in mountainous regions and going in, dipping in valleys and going up and down and doing all this other stuff. And there's some rivers, and they'll fly up the river, uh, the, the river gorge. Well, that has stopped. Every day, windows would be shaken and everything like that. Since he's gone in, not a single transport or anything has gone over. You're talking military? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because uh, the, the big field uh, down in Georgia hmm. is like 120 miles away, which is just minutes in uh, uh, See, uh, ours a fighter jet, up. and then over in Tullahoma. So, so, you th- so you think that w- if Clinton were to have gotten into the presidency, we were going to go to war big time? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's and why there was a lot of movement going on. Put Obama in; she would have put him in as our official representative. I, he can go to the UN all he wants to when he's not our official representative. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It'll be the one. That, that is what's going to happen. You watch. Yeah, he will. But it doesn't yeah. matter. America's going to be safe. I mean, he and, never he never I, acted I, like American when he was in presidency. Like, and there, no, he didn't. The and that's the president. terrorists would be shooting it all up, and he's just like, all right, so Charles, not terrorists. Charles, we'll see Ivanka, is good. all right, thank you, man. See ya. See you, bye. Okay, bye, bye, Charles. So Ivanka is going to so be president. So who else has an you know, opinion some, Somebody on this. said, <laughs> I, you know, he's not the yeah. first one who has said, you know, Ivanka is going to be. You know, they were saying she was going to be the first lady. Um, I'm sorry. She was going to be the first. She was going to be um, Melania instead of Melania being the first. What is it? 
first lady? First, first lady, yeah. Yeah, it was going to be Ivanka uh, because of her her knowledge, her, I, I, like I said, she is a smart girl. Yeah, right. but you know what he did? Um, I saw an interview with her mm-hmm. and her brother, mm-hmm. and he, even though he doesn't have to, and everybody's saying that he has to, um, he, you know, it's like a conflict of interest to be a billionaire and have all this stuff, but really, oh, no. it's he, not. He you know, t- turned all of his uh, fortune to or, her. No, to to the boys. Yeah, but her too. Oh, her too. She, they're going to be. They're I running heard, it. Okay, but I heard that she was going to be more involved in his, in his in thing? cabinet. Yeah. Um. So I. Yeah. I. I don't know if if that's going to be the case. If if she, I could have sworn she's going to be involved in the cabinet somehow. Um. But because yeah, from what I understand, she has an office in the White House now. Ivanka oh, does. Wow. Yeah. So no, I think he turned over the business to the boys, and the boys are now going to run the business. But they Ivanka, know how. I mean, the, oh no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, researched that all that stuff. Ivanka, up. Ivanka now yeah. has an office in the White House. He he is totally like Trump, is totally okay with. Um, the only thing he said was is that you know actually even the boys in there by themselves. They're going to miss walking up and down the hallway in the morning and going to the office and mm-hmm. being able to chat back and forth With and stuff Dad. like that and go to lunch. And yeah. They're going to miss that. But other than that, they don't. there's no fear that these guys are going to fail right. at all. Right. No, and you know you what? Know? Um, it's probably going to help Trump's business now probably, since he's yeah. president of the United States. I mean, who is not going to want to go stay at Trump hotels wherever they are? Who, you know what I'm saying? It, it's going to be off the hook. They're going to want to go and buy... You know, shirts and whatever. He's going to be fine. You guys have to understand, Trump does not have to do this. No, he doesn't. He's a multi freaking billionaire. All right? He has all the money that anybody would ever need. But he does not need to be where he's at. All right? So what? Wh- why would he do this? Why would he, why would he put himself in, in, in arm's way? Why would he put himself in the line of people just annihilating him and his family. Look at what they're saying to his kid now. Oh, yeah. All right? They're just going after him. But it's, that's evil. Pure evil is yeah, what's happening. That's exactly yeah. what it is. I mean, I think that, and I was telling Ellen that the march that happened yesterday was all, and, and you know what? I, I shouldn't say this because I'm prob- there's probably a lot of people who went to that who's probably watching this. Um. <laughs> And I, I don't want you. I don't want to Too lose late. you. No. I don't want to lose you. So let's just say that. Um, why were you there? Why were you marching? Was it because of Trump? Just think about that. Why were you there? It's like not, it's like he's not going to take your rights away from you from voting, from anything. Um, it. If, if it all should have happened, it should have happened during the Obama days, I personally think. So hmm. take that for what it's worth, all right? I'm not trying to piss you guys off, all right? Whoever went to the march, you know, if if there was a reason you guys went, then so be it. But I, 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 I don't get it. Now, so, man, I, I, I'm blown away right now because of all the stuff that we just told you. It's fact. We didn't make this shit up. Excuse my language. But, man, it's awesome to be alive right now. Because I'm tripping out. You know, I cannot wait to see what Trump is going to do in the next two weeks, and the next month, and the next three months, six months, year. You know what's interesting? Wow. If you go with... Like my friend, like the the my friends that do channeling and mm-hmm. you know have spirit guides and stuff like that, and I'm and I'm not putting that down. I mean, right. just saying, you know, they they they're they're thinking the same thing as you are exactly. I mean, it's really weird that you know that they're they're all, they're doing that same. They're going down that same rabbit hole. <laughs> Everybody is. Everybody is. I, I mean, is. you know, I mean, granted, you, you guys have to all understand. I mean, I am a very spiritual, spiritual religion. Uh, I mean, I went through the 
sacraments to be a Catholic. You know, uh, my wife, she, in order to marry me, she had to go through the the cycles of of what to do in order to marry me in a Catholic church. It's like, you know, I went through everything, all right? I consider myself to be a good person. And I stopped going to church a long time ago. And this was probably before I got married. We're talking, it's probably been 16 years. I mean, I, I've been, yeah, I mean, it's been a long time. And been 25 for me. You know, and, and <laughs> you know, people say that, oh, you got to go to church. If you don't go to church, then, you know, you're not. A, it, it's not, it's not where you're, it's, it's what you do in life that's going to get you to the next level, guys. It's the type of person that you are. If you're a jackass, an asshole, well, guess what? You're going the wrong direction. All right, um, it, it, it's about changing your lifestyle. And I'm not saying praise God and say it every 10 minutes and, and you know try to preach to people. Th that's not what we're doing here. And it, and, and it might look like it, but we're telling you, you get to remember, this is a paranormal show, guys. All right, the stuff that is happening, Trump pins, trumpets, and the trumpets going off, and this is stuff is like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, this is this is freaking awesome stuff. Well, everything's supernatural. The 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 way the media is reacting, right? They don't know how to react. They're freaking out. They're freaking out. They're freaking out. The populations around the world freaking out. They're freaking Everybody's out. Everybody's freaking out. Sure. This is supernatural. What happened is absolutely supernatural. Now, did God put Trump there because he was meant to be there to fulfill the prophecies of the Bible? Time will tell. But so far, it's looking that way. <laughs> so, you know, like um, Charles was talking about, he thinks King David. In my research months ago, when I first found out Trump was might be the president mm -hmm. you know it was looking like it even though the, everybody was saying he's not he's not he's not you know but he was like knocking people out right um when, and i started looking like what does the bible say what does the bible say about all this you know i already know we're in the end times because israel became a nation mm -hmm. okay that said when that happened when they got their land in back 1967 i believe 1960 something like that Seven, yeah yeah the Six Day War, when <clears throat> Jerusalem became back together and was owned by Israel, that was like the <clears throat> starting of the clock or whatever. But only I, I saw King Cyrus. King Cyrus, he went in and he took over, and God set him in there. And he wasn't a he was not a God person. I mean, he was like flat out asshole. Yeah, man, <laughs> kill people and everything. I mean, he. And if anybody wants to read it, they could go read it. I mean, I think that's the closest one that I read. And I read about the David one, too. And David got selected by God also. But but only David, he wrote psalms. He wrote the psalms. He, you know, he sang and danced for God and all this stuff. He was more sold out to God. This king, Cyrus, he was not. He got put in... He got put in to to overthrow Babylon and rebuild everything, the build the temple and all that stuff. And he did it without even being a god person. Now check this out. Now I'm you know I'm probably going to you're probably gonna go, Jeff, now you're smoking the crack. But you know, when I started this in two thousand seven, I had no clue where it was going. And what I'm talking about is this show, all right? Um, over the years, I just started doing my thing, not knowing where I was going. And a couple of years ago, we had the opportunity to be put on TV. Now, there are networks out there in Hollywood, you know, um, Discovery Channel, History Channel, A&E, they're all controlled mm -hmm. by the elite. You can only talk about certain things on your on that network. Or if, if they sign you, then 
they will only allow you to say stuff, do stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know, okay? All right, now. So I tried to get a show. I tried to take this show to the cable networks, but I got denied everywhere. I was like, no, we just don't see it. I just, it, they don't see it. They don't see the big picture. So I go to Fresno and I talk to the people here at the Fox CW network. And a couple of years ago, I said, hey, let's shoot a pilot and let's just, it's a long shot, right? I mean, it's a freaking long shot. The guy goes, yeah, hey, I can see this on my station. Um, all right, let's do it. Okay. So my nine episodes got put on the, the, the Fox and the CW. And they didn't charge me for the time on their station. And I'm going, you know, when you tell that to people, they're going, what? What are you talking about? You're, they played your show for free on the, on the station. Yeah, they played it for free. Possible. Even Ellen said, that's no way. How can that be? That you don't, they don't give you an hour time to put your show on TV. That just, I mean, I don't care who you are. If you have a show, especially if even a religious show, they're going to charge you, depending on the time slot, $10,000, $15,000 per hour. Unless, like, like I used to I used to shoot TV shows for um, people that they didn't have a lot of money. Right. Okay. And then the only time slot they could afford two or three o'clock in the like, morning yeah, four thirty in, in the morning, morning three thirty in the morning sure. so i mean we were shooting the shows and that that's when it was going to be aired on the cheapest tv station too right, right you know like right, right. totally local cheesy and but you're probably talking still thousands of dollars oh yeah oh yeah yeah it was like right? two thousand dollars a week or something like okay. that so um <clears throat> so so when you said when when I heard him say that he's just going to air it, you know, I was like waiting for the price, right? Right. I'm sitting there like, oh, how much are you going to charge? Yeah. Us? Okay, that was a miracle. Oh. Far as I'm concerned, miracles still happen because that was a miracle. Okay. Right so, there. so right now, guys, <clears throat> the guys want 20, 26 episodes, and they're not going to charge me for airtime, and they're going to rerun it for fifty two weeks. And fifty two weeks. You guys hear that? Fifty two weeks. And it's and it's gonna and then most likely it's gonna go national. Yeah. All right. Most so likely. so because it is my show and it is I am the executive producer, mm -hmm. as long as I don't cuss like I cuss on here <laughs> on the network over there, I can talk about anything I want. Yep. You guys understand that? They will allow me to talk about what we're talking about right now. <gasps> you can't talk about God on TV. No. Nope. They're not going to allow lot, you. A lot of the stuff that we talk about, like even in UFOs or Hat Man or whatever. But, you know, but we're talking. Go too deep. Yeah, but, that, that, yeah. but we're talking like cable channels. Or we're talking Discovery. They, right. won't let you, they won't allow you to go down the rabbit hole. And really, what we just talked about right now, if we were to talk, if we, we were to, <laughs> if we were to give... Uh, the uh, a, a forty-four minute episode to the History Channel when they review it, they go, they get this and they'll go, do another one, because they don't want to hear that crap on on their channel. All right. So what I'm trying to get at it has to be cheesy, like um, <laughs> killing Bigfoot. That's it's, it's, the we new will, one. <laughs> it, it's go. Okay. So what I'm trying to get at, guys, is On one of these episodes, if I wanted to talk about Trump and the, the, the Bible and the supernatural stuff, they'll let it fly. Yeah. They will let they will air it. So how does a guy from Fresno, California, born and raised in Sanger, <laughs> <laughs> who works for the phone company, gets his own TV show so far, right now? on Central California that's going to be played on the CW at 12 midnight on Saturday, moved from Sunday to Saturday night, 12 midnight. And that is a freaking excellent time slot. How does that happen? Now, am I going to say... A miracle. Am I going to say it was God? 
It isn't anything we did. I, I you know, all I'm doing. I'll tell you is, that. Is, okay, look, look, look. Okay, when I do stuff, I do it right. <laughs> As you can see, I mean, obviously you saw that you know the new added prop that a fan built for us that I finally put up because it's going to be included in the TV show. I mean, is it because I'm doing this right that they're sitting, they're looking at it, and they're going, "Whoa!" All right, but if one of you guys right now shot a TV show and you try to take it to the to, to the uh, the, the Fox here in Fresno and said, "Would you air this?" They're going to say, "Sure, we'll put you at two o'clock in the morning. Give us five grand." Per episode. Per episode. It, it would probably be more on no, CW. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, the Fox actually would be more. Um, but the CW, um, you no, know, we're, we're, we're going, we're, we're, we're I'm on, this, I'm on the same channel as the Vampire Diaries, as Supernatural, as Two Broke Girls, as Friends. I'm, I'm going to be right up there, guys, with all those. I mean, really? <laughs> and I'm not paying to be on there. So... Is this something that had at somebody else? You 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 follow where I'm going? This guy. I don't want to make it sound like like God is putting us here to to preach because that's not the case. Um, I think you know I've been trying to get this on the air for a long time, but because of what's happening right now with the super the Bible, the Trump, the, all this. And then it's like, it's such a perfect time to be put on TV to talk about this stuff. I've been noticing, and Alan sent me over some links about, and we're not going to say who it is, but, you know, we're being watched by other shows that are, uh, they have, you know, cable TV shows or what have you. And they're watching us because we just know. Trust me, we know. They're they're almost they're like parroting us. They're, they're trying to copy what we're talking about. And, okay, and it would be things that we talked <clears throat> about. We'll talk about successively over months. Mm -hmm. You know, not every day, but only they're saying like word for word. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, and that's what I you know last year I had to stop telling you guys who my guest was coming in because I would say it this Sunday. By Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, a lot of the other shows would have that guest when they weren't, they had not just written a book. It was just a matter of, you know, I want to talk about this particular subject. And they would snag them. And it's like, really? But trust me when I say it's like, I'm, we're on, on to these guys. Uh, but do you see where I'm going with this? How in the hell am I getting my own show on the CW right now, Central California, between Bakersfield and Merced? I mean, literally, if we promoted this the correct way and the right way, you know, 100,000 people, 200,000 people could watch our show every Saturday night. All right? Now, am I saying God had a big part of this? <sighs> I think he did. <laughs> I'm going that way too. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'm still going to, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm still going to talk about monsters. I'm going to talk about ghosts. You know, in this 26 episodes that we're going to be doing, it's not like in search of where every episode is going to be different and they're never going to um, go back and replay a certain it, the, the, my show is going to be like for example the first show is going to be about Bigfoot why because it's just we have some killer stuff that we have to tell the people of Central California and, about and you, Bigfoot and you guys already heard it really yeah, right um, <coughs> excuse me but the next one after that is going to be about ghosts and the one after that about UFOs but there's so much ghost uh, or so much Bigfoot stuff that I have to show you guys that the following one might be another Bigfoot and then the other one might be a part two of that Bigfoot. It's going to be whatever is hot like, within the past two weeks. Now, what's cool Big, about Bigfoot's this. Bigfoot's hot. <laughs> the, thanks to Isaac. Isaac. This was uh, the, his dad. Somebody, actually, his dad took a picture of this at the Sunnyside Swap Meet, guys. This was at the Sunnyside Swap Meet. And, uh, and I'm going to fill mine up with herb. <laughs> and um, so... Um, but yeah, that's where that came from. But uh, see, now you lost my train of thought. I got marijuana now in the brain. 
Damn it. <laughs> no, it was Bigfoot. And um, you were talking about. The, okay. There's so much about. Bigfoot. Yeah, there's so much about Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it's you know, on these reality shows, you record them six, seven months prior of airing them, so it's old freaking news. My show is is like you know we're 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 going to record or we're going to film the episode probably two weeks prior to airing it because we want the recent stuff that's happening out there. You know, you don't get that anywhere except for talk radio, um, you know, internet shows, YouTube stuff like that. But you don't see that on TV when it comes to paranormal. You just don't. And that's where I want to take this. And uh, I th it's going to happen because we're doing it. I'm going tomorrow to sign the contract. It, th my show is going to take off, guys. I have a real strong feeling that it's going to take off. The production crew that's working with me right now, again, okay, I got a production crew, a director, a female director with, you know, with, film, um, um, with camera guys, set guys. They're not charging me. What? These guys are not charging me a cent. We just did a photo shoot from a very professional photographer. She didn't charge us, from what I understand, as of yet. But you guys understand what I'm saying? Is, you know, I'm, this, this stuff is happening without a penny coming out of my pocket. Finally. <laughs> Finally. All right? Where is that coming from? And, and you know what? These guys who are going to shoot the, the, the show for me, they see it. Yeah. They see the big picture. Just like the general manager at the Fox CW, they see the big picture. Finally. You know? And, That's what and, I say. You know, and it's like, you know, we knew I had, I had, <clears throat> what, I had something here. But it, it was just, we, it, it, it just, it wasn't time. But now it's time. Is, is there somebody higher up involved in this? I, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> yes. I really do. Um, um, so it, it's going to get interesting, very exciting to be alive right now. I am finally, it, it's, it's, I see it. I see something very, very big happening to the show probably by the summer. And even this one is like taking off. It, you know, you know um, the, better than it has in the in the past. Yeah, I, I mean, if you look at the views on live stream, now we're just in the hundreds. But you have to understand now, everybody is is watching our show on Roku and those other type of Amazon, whatever it is, uh, sticks and Fire Sticks and whatever, and they're watching the show now via TV. And they're you know we're up to fifty two thousand subscribers on live stream now. So you and, know, you know, and like <clears throat> I want to thank everybody. We're almost to a million views on YouTube. I mean, we're only, it's only like 15,000 views or something. It's within the month, we'll be at a million views. And yeah. you have to understand. Yeah, I think that's so cool. You and, guys and, and that's without promotion. Yeah. Right, yeah. There's no, yeah. it's not like, you know, when you say a million views, oh, wow, that's nothing. Well, go to like these rock stars like Katy Perry, for example, where they're at like 50 million, 100 million. Well, it's because they're well known. You know, they're, they're, the record companies put millions of dollars into promotions. I don't promote the show. It's just word of mouth, mm -hmm. um, and it's getting it's getting popular, guys. I mean, it is, uh, and I want to thank you for that. Mm -hmm. You know, keep watching wherever you are around the world. We have viewers around the world who are watching this tomorrow, because <laughs> it's like um, in Australia, or it's it's tomorrow in Australia or whatever. But uh, but um, but yeah, um, you know, I can tell you right now. It's going to get very exciting. Now, I know a lot of you guys around the world who are watching us right now are going, well, we want to see your TV show. Well, tomorrow, is, is uh, when I had that meeting, it, it, I'm going to ask those questions. And those questions are, how can we have the rest of the world watch it? Um, I would just uh, hate to put it on YouTube. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to just throw it out there just like it is because... What we're doing is something very special. It is just not somebody behind a mic. It's, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort. If there was money that you'd see the production value that's going to be put into this. And I just don't want to do that. I, I want to put it someplace where if they allow us, which I'm pretty sure they will, but 
at this point in time not probably not uh, until it gets viewed twice though okay well we'll, we'll see what that yeah, what yeah. that means and if that's the case well then i'm sorry but um um i you know i don't know what's going to happen i'm going to talk about this with them tomorrow um, i'm pretty sure they have some ideas i mean the general manager said you know they have first dibs if they want to buy the show from us um it's because they see it <laughs> they see it and i see it too i've always saw it but um but that's where we're at right now um things are getting really exciting you know like i said I apologize if for some reason next Sunday we don't have a show. It's only because we're shooting the TV show. And that's the reason why we're not here. And I will let you know via, if you're not a subscriber on Livestream, you need to do that. Because when I create a show, it sends out emails to all of the subscribers to let you know there is going to be a show or there's not going to be a show. So that way, if you want to be, if you want to know the day before by email, then you need to, you need to subscribe to live stream. It's as simple as that, all right? Um, and 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 that'll they'll let you know that way. Uh, but man, I you know yesterday's meeting um, that we had with the after the the shoot, you know, I it takes a lot for me to get excited, guys. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, it does. It takes a lot for me to get excited. I started to get that tingle up my leg. <laughs> For those who uh, uh, get that, will get that. Um, you know, it's 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 there. It's finally there, um, and and I I I I'm excited. You know, I just secured today. <clears throat> um, we're going to be shooting an episode downtown Fresno at the Fulton Fifty Five nightclub where we'll have night riots perform so we're taking this and we're moving it to the haunted club it's haunted the fulton 55 is haunted and i talked to the owner today and he's in it and we're going to set up shop on the floor of the club and behind us is going to be the stage and the band is going to sit down on the uh, on, on the sofa with us we're going to talk paranormal we're going to talk paranormal with the owner and some of the employees because a lot of crap happens there and the band is going to perform live a couple of songs behind us. That's the stuff that we're going to that you're going to see on the TV show. Recreations. We're going to go to different places. But once you know, once we get picked up big time, there's going to be a budget. With that budget, we're going to be able to fly in. Depending on where we're at, if they want to come up with the money and say, you know what, we're going to build you a studio in Hollywood, so be it. That's where we're going to go. Um, you know, we're in Fresno, California, central San Joaquin Valley, where three hours and a half uh, south of us is Los Angeles and another two and a half hours west of us is San Francisco. We have an international airport here in Fresno, California. We can easily fly in rock stars and movie stars from L.A. to here to do the show and they can fly back. And we could do that with a budget. <clears throat> Sometimes you don't really need a budget because if your show is that popular... The, the 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 managers and the agencies say, oh, we need to get so and so on that show right now because that movie that they have has to do with ghosts or whatever, and 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 we need to get them over there right now because I have a feeling we're gonna put on a really good show and there's gonna be a lot of people watching it. I guarantee it, guys. I I mean it just I I feel it. I feel it. Okay, finally, so. <laughs> I feel it now. I do. I mean. I mean, you know, after our meeting yesterday, it's like, I feel it. I do. But, uh, okay. So, am I gloating? Yes, I am. Because, I mean, like I said, the stuff that is happening to us right now, it's supernatural, man. You don't get a free TV show on TV to promote your show, and you just don't, that, that doesn't happen. And it might even get better for, I, I have a feeling everybody's going to be happy. I, I really do. Like, when we talked about that, like when Trump, got elected and everybody was like oh, uh, i felt that too oh, I, I, a lot of people felt and, that. and if it if really what he if he does anything about what he says a lot of people are going to be happy yeah. you know what i mean there's jobs coming back and all that stuff is going to come back everything's you know, gonna be way a, better a lot of people you know? are saying you know what he's turning back on his promises he ain't not going to do that but you know what 
he, his I think ego. I think his, some he, of them are scared of him. His ego. There. His yeah. His ego. You're fired. No. His ego wants to come back and said, "Hey, I told you I can do it." That's the kind of guy he is. That's what he's going to do. He's you know, already doing it to the media. Oh yeah. I mean, I love watching the, pre him the press conference that he had, or that today or yesterday, where um, his um, uh, speech guy. I, I'm not speech guy, but uh, press. This press guy, uh, yeah, came out and pretty much came out and um, because of what, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the media were downplaying the the um, the numbers on the attendance at the inauguration and some other stuff, and it, it's like it's like me, guys. If you say something bad about me or about my family or say something on facebook i'm going after you man i'm gonna let you have it it's as far as i can go and take it because i know it's false and how dare you say that about me that's false and i'm not going to let it go that's just me and that's what trump's gonna do <laughs> all right so the media are freaking out right now because it's like they've never had anybody do that to them so they are totally ganging up on trump and i'm just i can't wait to see what's going to happen i i really can't it's going to be exciting. Um, my show is going to air, for, I, for, as far as right now, as, I, as far as I know, it's February the 11th, next month on the 11th, Saturday night at 12 midnight. Again, we're going, and, and uh, that, that, you know, the general manager and I were emailing back and forth on the date and the time and all that, and I think they're making up the contract as we speak. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> and um, But uh, I, we're really not going to start promoting this. I, I, we haven't started promoting this. Because they said no until you sign the contract. Then after that, then you can start promoting it. Right. Which is still cool because you know we took some cool photographs um, yesterday and it, you know it came out pretty damn good. Um, I can't wait to see. Um, you know they're going to be making posters, um, and now the production company. Okay, you guys ready for this? It looks like they are going to have T-shirts pretty soon. But let me tell you why. Um, I've been doing this pretty much all by myself with with a, a little bit of help of Ellen, and I the reason why I haven't printed T-shirts and mugs and hats and all that is because I really I wasn't satisfied with the logo. The logo wasn't really appealing to me. I just I didn't see it. It just wasn't there, and I wanted somebody to revamp it, redo it. To make it more appealing, more TV friendly, more grab you. Yeah. yeah. All right. And that's what they're doing as we speak right now. Is they are revamping the logo. So once we have a definite go on the logo, the production company also have connections in printing and all that kind of stuff. And you know that's a good way for us to make some extra money for the production cost. So it looks like that's going to happen pretty soon as well. As soon as we get the logo, um, then we're going to start selling merchandise. You know, for, <laughs> for 14 years, uh, no, I, no, no, take that back. For, yeah, 14 years I've been doing this. I've only sold a couple of things, but not much. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I think it's time. You know, bumper stickers, uh, decals for the vehicles, uh, all that kind of stuff. It, it, it's, 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 we're going to go full board on this, man. Uh, and I, and I, and like I said, I've just been waiting for a bunch of people to come in and run with the show, directors, producers, you know, writers, all this. And that's what's happening right now. So, all right. Uh, we got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes. And I think they're aching for some paranormal. Well, um, We got a call coming in from Charles. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see here, Mr. Charles. Uh, what's going on, Charles? Hello. Yo. Yeah, is this Josh? <laughs> Charles, you just called in the Paranormal Central again. Yeah. I called in a little bunch. What? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I thought, your I thought another number was in. All right. Okay, bye. Good show. <laughs> Thanks, Charles. I, I, I hope you're not smoking. I, I hope you're not smoking the crack over there, dude. No, 
<laughs> no, I just I had so much going on with dinner and everything like that, <laughs> and dreams of Ivanka. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Well, yeah, no, there was something about that, though, that crossed my mind. The reason the King David thing is King David's bloodline is what brought the... Uh, David's bloodline brought Jesus in. And then so that means that um, <laughs> if her being a uh, being Jewish now, her bloodline could be bringing the Messiah. Good. Because Mary was from the David, uh, bloodline of David. So then any one of the kids that she has right now. I don't think it'll be. go that long. Huh? I don't think it's going to go that long. <clears throat> What do you mean? Well, I, I don't. Th I think time is shorter than er than what we think. But then, well, what makes? What, why, why does the kid <clears throat> have to be thirty three? Well, well, I'm saying like <clears throat> I, I wouldn't. If, if I can't even hardly five, see. I don't think we have like five years. You know what I mean? Before this, children, before though, the big change happens. I think the child could possibly be the Messiah as a child, because Jesus went into the temples. When he was twelve years old. True, but the, but only her kid ain't going to be the Messiah. You never know, because David's bloodline brought the Messiah, the Messiah in, and that's one of the reasons too. I thought that he was, he possibly because of her conversion ah. could be the way the bloodline comes in. But but you have you read the description of what, how, the Messiah <laughs> returns? I mean, like. I mean, man, he hits the mountain and uh, what is it, the mountain of olives, and it splits in two, and one foot's on one side and one foot's on the other side, and he's supposed to be dripping in the blood of Egypt, and Egypt is the bloodline but of Cain that goes all the way through. I don't think it's going to happen that yeah. way. I think that's allegorical. Uh, I'm think, not so sure. I think that's it. I think mm. that because everything else in the Bible usually has a um, symbolic to it and we'll wait and see but uh, whatever we're, we're on a better path than we were on but, <laughs> but let, me get, let me yeah. call where I was going <laughs> 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 uh, and I will get back to you uh, be blessed in days ahead uh, with the show thank you Charles coming up and uh, try to get it to where we all can see it yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what's going to be the main uh, main talk topic tomorrow is how can our fans around the world see it so we'll let you maybe know maybe they can use blue beans <laughs> <laughs> Could be. We we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. It'll happen though. We'll let you guys know. See you back. See. You. Man, we haven't talked about blue beam in a oh long God, time. Yeah. That <laughs> might even be part of it. So, part of what they Well, use, I mean, you know? um now we still have to talk about Planet X. They say that's coming around in September now. Um I you know, I don't know. Um well, so, I think a lot of it, like I was, he was talking about. I don't think we have, I don't think we have that much time. I, I really don't. I mean, like if you if you look at how, like I I have tons of friends all over the world now thanks to this show, and and I mean they're from every background, every kind of religion, every kind of uh, spiritualism. Um, you know, Reiki masters, and I mean, I, I might even be saying it wrong, uh, but only everyone, everyone is like the, like on the spiritual side, like if you, if we just talk spiritual, okay, not religion, just spiritual, where, where they, where these people are like, they say they work for the white light, you know, like they, they'll, like, like if they want to bless you, they'll think of you and bathe you in white light, okay? And that would be blessing you. And to them, that's good, okay? But what I'm saying is, is they, everyone feels like they're, they're living in a time that they selected that they wanted to be in and they actually are here for a purpose for this time whether it's enlightenment like they think the golden age is coming like when I mean, you talk to the ancient aliens and the alien people the the aliens are coming and they're they're bringing enlightenment and they're going to oversee the change that's coming on all the people right 
um, if you if you talk to the uh, spiritual people, they're they're feeling the veil get thinner, and they're they're seeing more stuff, and they're understanding, and they're in, their intelligence or wisdom is uh, knowledge is increasing. You know what I mean? Like in their whatever power they have or thing gifts that they have that is getting, you know, so like, it doesn't matter. The only one, the only one, and they, no, I, no, I take that back. They're saying it too. Like the Muslims, they actually think that the Mahdi or what, how, I don't know how to say it. I, all I, I researched down that rabbit hole in what they're doing, like all the attacks and all the stuff like that. They actually believe they're ushering in their Messiah called the Mak Mahdi or Mahdi Mahdi, something like I don't know how I can't talk like them. But they actually are excited because they they want to do jihad, jihad to bring their Mahdi, which is their um, Messiah. So like. So every, no matter which, where you go in this paranormal world where everybody, everybody's spiritual somehow, everyone, even the ones that say they don't believe in God, or they still are have a little bit of spiritual something, you know? Everybody knows it's happening. And a lot of them know they're here because they chose to be here for, or they're, they were appointed to be here for this time that we're in and then it gets you know like when we start seeing what happens with trump and what, what uh the earthquakes and the the planet coming you know the like all the sun getting more active and i mean there's just all these signs everywhere that er that something's coming and everybody could feel it and they know something's coming i feel it yeah i feel it um, and I'm not afraid of it. So, so I don't think like I don't think it's going to be somebody's kid that ushers this in. I think it's here. It's only a matter of time here, a little time before that veil just is gone, gets you know dropped or whatever, ripped, and and we get to see, we get to be what we were, what we actually were created to be like. I mean, no more penal gland or however you say that, you know, crusted over, mm -hmm. you know, all your chakras all lit up. I mean, all your higher energy, like, going on the top vibrant vibrations. Um, I mean, I'm in, if you're the Christian world, then your Messiah is coming. If you're the Muslim, then your Mahdi's coming. If, I mean, everybody, that I think that's what's happening right now. And I don't know how long, I can't say, but I bet everybody out there could feel it. Well, I definitely felt it on November the 8th, and I felt it again on January the 20th. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people think that I'm a Trump lover because <laughs> I'm just so into Trump. That's not the case. The case, the, the whole thing is that... <clears throat> Actually, actually, okay, like he says, except Catholics. Wrong. Okay, like I, I researched the Catholics. I, I was just listening to the top demonologists, like researching the top demonologists of the Catholics, okay? And they're preparing. They have telescope in... Arizona or New Air Mexico, one of those two. Yeah, I mean, they got one there, and they also have they also have one over where they're at and, and control of some other things. Uh, also, they also have the largest library <clears throat> the Vatican underneath <clears throat> of the records going like forever, and nobody even has been down there. But he says he's been down there and researched everything, even the aliens, which he says are not fallen angels. This is what he said. Not fallen angels, but they are coming soon, and the Pope's going to bless them. He's going to baptize them the Pope, or, or the, whatever. The like, Pope already whatever. said that's what he was going to do. Right, but this demon guy said, or demonologist, he, I mean, he, they're even preparing for that. <clears throat> they're preparing for it. So 
Like, I mean, like, do your research, people. Like, look it up. You'll find out. I'm, okay, I'm not okay. lying. Okay, so, so. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Now, it's like, how do you, how do you, how do you input aliens into this Bible prophecy? For me, um, for me, it's the, it's cut and dry. The, the, the beginning of time. It, I mean, it all starts with a story, the very, very first, first story, and that was be the Adam and Eve one. And a lot of people argue with me and say it's the Sumerians or whatever, you know. Those are Anunnaki. Those are the aliens. But only those off of that Anunnaki bloodline became giants in the land. Okay, then when you go in the Bible and you read about this this bloodline they call it something different they call it nephilim and they say it's because the angels took the women and had any women they want and then they created the giants right so i mean like all these stories are all parallel they're all like you could believe whichever one you want but only all the other religious books and everything they make predictions but they're not always right and like what Charles was saying, you know, these, these predictions, right? And he said they're metaphorical. Not exactly. Um, just for Jesus Christ, they started talking about him 4,000 years before. Okay? 4,000 years. And they were saying little stupid stuff that you wouldn't even think. Like uh, when he's hanging on the cross, I mean, this is... King David sang this song in Psalms, I think it was like 600 years or something like that, before Jesus, or 800, or I don't know the timing, but I know way before, okay? He said they were going to sell they were going to sell his clothes for 30 pieces of silver, and then he said the exact words the soldiers said. Exactly. And that's just one of like 300 prophecies before Jesus, right? That's like one of oh, hundreds that came true a hundred percent. They haven't missed yet. All the way to, I mean, in like if you want to bring it into our world. When I was saying Jerusalem is now in control, Israel is in control of Jerusalem. Okay, here is a people that lost their land and it's been contested for 2,000 years if they owned it or not, right? And now they have it back and they have their, their language and everything. That is told, foretold hundreds of years, maybe even a thousand years ago exactly exactly to the letter how it happened how exactly and but only it also says when you see that when you see that when you when you see it like the day of noah and everybody's like what was the day of noah like well in the day of noah giants were running the land they were playing with genetics they were creating chimeras giants um bull-headed alligator-headed humans i mean they, it, it, they it, and everybody's blood is polluted and then he, he they they decided they had to wipe everybody out because we weren't what he created anymore but he found somebody called noah he said that he was perfect in his generations or whatever and it meant that his genetics was still good. And he was the only one out of the whole earth of people that, and they lived thousand years, a thousand years. So you have all these people that can know your great, 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 great grandkid. Okay. And you think they didn't have technology like we have? I think it all got washed in the oceans and stuff. And I think our government, and I think Germany especially, started digging and finding this stuff and finding portals and time portals and things like that. We talk with uh, uh, some of our guests and stuff on it. I mean, it, 
the stuff they're finding in Antarctica. Matter of yeah. fact, you were talking about the uh, <clears throat> what you read about um, with the was it Buzz Aldrin? Buzz Aldrin, and so wh- wh- where did you read that? At? Okay, um, <clears throat> I, I read it on a site. I was doing some research on you know like on that like the because they have these maps that show underneath the Arctic ice, and they're perfect. But nobody in our time could know that because it wasn't only until recent times that you had the radar that could see through the eyes and know what the landmass was like, right? But they have these maps, retree maps or something like that, that has the thing. Well, then all of a sudden, Carrie, Carrie, Carrie and... John Carrie. Yeah, John Kerry and Buzz Aldrin go over there. And that's what they're going to go see is the, there's some underground cities. And actually what I found, and I'm not sure if it's true or not, but but they say that's Atlantis <coughs> that they found. And it has high technology. And it was made from giants, okay? The same kind of technology that built the pyramids. And they don't know how they built the pyramids, Okay. Only they were saying that we have this technology that we traded with the aliens, okay? That our government traded with the aliens. The Germans actually started it, but then we had Operation Paperclip brought all in the scientists. And then they ran what? Our space <coughs> program and our science programs, okay? Like one of them was the top NASA guy. And so they have ships that think Star Trek, okay? They could go. They're, they're mining, yeah, there you go. They they're actually say they're mining moons, Saturn, <coughs> all over, Mars. We have bases on Mars. We have bases in the moon. We, we, they're the, what is it, the asteroid belt? They're <coughs> mining the asteroid belt. They're finding asteroids that are all solid gold, supposedly. But anyways, Buzz Aldrin, they got them on one of these ships like this, and within, I think it was like, two and a half minutes or something he was going to a base that's where he was originally he was supposed to be going to visit a base on the moon but only he'd never been in one of those you know and he's an old guy and he got the, he got so overwhelmed at being from where he was to the moon in two minutes flat that all the, they, he started having a heart attack so they just went around the back side of the moon and came brought him back because he was having a heart attack and it's a good thing you could get there in two minutes because you probably would have died. But then when you read his message, like he's he's saying that some of this technology of the aliens, his tweet was, is pure evil. Pure evil. So if I think the aliens are tied in with this Anunnaki giant Nephilim stuff. And can't prove it, but only if you if you really read all the rabbit holes and you go down all of them, they all lead to one thing. Or you know, there's only a couple of things that only add up. All the rest of it is started way later, and you can see where it started at, and you can follow it. Just like these bloodlines: begat, 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 begat. Hmm. <clears throat> so, so we're going. <laughs> So the, I'm thinking that um, the aliens <clears throat> are going to show themselves very soon then. Either they're going to show themselves or that veil or is going to drop and we're going to get our gift. We're, not really our gift. We're going to be back to the, what we were created to be like. Mm-hmm. And then there won't be, you won't get sick. You won't die. You'll be able to see in all the realms because we only see like this much of the light spectrum. You know what I mean? Like there, the, what it, infrared? We can't even see infrared. I think the Bigfoots could see it. Maybe the Bigfoots might be Nephilim. I don't know. You know, but but only there's a lot of weird stuff, and that's why I'm sitting here because I love going down all these rabbit holes, and I don't have all the answers, but I'll tell you what I find. Cool. Well, I wish I had the time to do that. But I don't have time to research like you do, which is cool because, you know, um, keep researching. Yeah. Um, you know, that's it, that's it. So, all right, guys, we are done. It's uh, eight minutes after the hour or nine minutes after the hour. Appreciate you guys showing up tonight. Appreciate it. 
For Jeffrey Gonzalez and Alan Thomas, I want to thank you guys very much. Without you, we don't have a show. Hopefully, we'll be back next Sunday, same time. Take care. Bye. You have been listening to Paranormal Central with Jeffrey Gonzalez and Alan Thomas. Broadcasting worldwide at ParanormalCentral.net and on our Stay tuned for next time. Remember to keep your eyes to the skies. And we hope you witness something you cannot explain. Thank you.